let's work the sieve stitch the sieve stitch is similar to the most stitch it's just single crochets and chains as well and it's a two row pattern i'm using this aran yarn and a four millimeter hook a nail scissors tape and a darning needle you're going to make the number of stitches based on the project that you want to make in multiples of two so i'm going to make 20 stitches i'm working a headband in horizontal work to begin you're going to start by working in the second stitch from the hook single crochet and then single crochet go across and i'm the end of the row and i've worked my single crochet this is my first row the second row is going to be single crochets and chain ones the second row you're going to chain one then work a single crochet in the same stitch at the bottom there this is going to keep your work as straight as possible single crochet and then chain one keep the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch chain one skip the stitch and single crochet in the next stitch chain one keep one single crochet chain one skip one single crochet until the end of the row and at the end of the row chain one single crochet in the very last stitch and then chain one and turn in the next row you're going to start by single crocheting in the same stitch then we're going to work two single crochets in the chain places so one two keep the stitch work two single crochets in the chain space keep the stitch work two single crochets in the chain space single crochet in the next chain space twice keep the stitch two single crochets until the end of the row and then at the end of the row we're going to single crochet in the next round chain one the chain one doesn't count on the stitch and then single crochet in the same stitch now that's the first stitch and then you're going to chain one skip the next stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch from here you're basically repeating row two and row three chain one skip the stitch single crochet chain one skip stitch single crochet chain one skip stitch and at the end of the row you're not going to chain one you're just going to single crochet then chain one turn remember the chain one doesn't count as a stitch single crochet in the same stitch then single crochet in the next chain space keep the stitch single crochet in the next chain space at the end of the row work a single crochet and then chain one you're just going to repeat rows two and three until you get the size that you want i'm making a headband and my size will be 23 inches plus or minus 23 inches so i'm just going to go off camera and finish working my headband or eom or whatever you call it and then we're going to come back and we're going to join it together i'm now done with my headband and side where you're working with single crochet and chain one that's the wrong side and the side where you're working the double the two the two single crochets that's the right side we're going to join it and what we do is take the yarn and measure four times on the way left three four cut your yarn and then make a knot then bring your headband together the two sides together thread your needle and then fold the two sides in half and it sit through the other side so your left fold it in half and then slide through alternating on the two sides making sure where you have your thread is on the outside make sure your two pieces are aligned and then we're going to just sew across and sew back through all the four 
side. You should have the same number of stitches if you align it correctly. Just make sure that you are stitching through all the four and then go back. Continue until you're at the end and then weave in the tail and you're done. And here it is. Turn it to the right side and you're done. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see pattern for other headbands, click the link in the video. Until next time, thank you for watching.